Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of League Lectures. Last night, the Ravens put a whooping on the Los Angeles Rams and officially put Week 12 to rest. So similar to last week, we're going to go over some of the bigger talking points of Week 12. Um, I'm going to start off by talking about my Texans. Last week, in my top five games of the week, I picked the Colts to beat the Texans. Or actually, that was my Thursday night preview. But I picked the Colts to win. Our injury was our secondary was super injured. We didn't have Reed. We didn't have uh, we didn't have Roby. We didn't have Lonnie. We were missing like four or five starters in our secondary. So with that, I thought the Colts were going to attack us through the air a lot more. I know T. Y. Hilton was injured, but he's put up great games against us before while he was injured. I really thought they were going to try to air it out against us a lot more than they did. They saw that the Ravens the week prior had ran all over us, so they tried to duplicate that run game, but they do not have the same kind of personnel personnel that the Ravens do to complete that run game. Jacoby Brissett is not a runner like Lamar is. Uh, Mark Ingram is better running back than Naheem Hines or... I think his name was Jonathan Williams, third string running back that the Colts had to deal with. They, it wasn't the game I was expecting at all. Like I said, I thought they were gonna attack us a lot more. They didn't. Um, we were able to pull out a win. It wasn't a pretty win, but with all the injuries I have, I don't care if it's a pretty win, an ugly win, whatever. It doesn't matter. You won. That's all that matters. And next for the Texans is the Patriots, which I will get into in for another video. And speaking of the Patriots, the Patriots barely won another game. There's been so many games this year where you can argue that they should have lost. Now, I'm not going to say they should have lost this game against the Cowboys, but it was another narrow victory, terrible weather. Uh, but I think more than anything, this proves a few things. The Cowboys, they cannot beat good teams. They are not real threats in the league in the NFC in their own division I think if the Eagles get healthy enough the Eagles will win that division I don't think the Cowboys are good if they even make the playoffs they will be a one and done <clears throat> and most of that is because of their coaching issues uh, Jason Garrett however many years he's been the coach for Dallas Cowboys he hasn't really done anything the last he had that one run with the whole Dez caught it that kind of time frame but other than that, they haven't really done anything. I'm surprised Jerry Jones has been this patient with Jason Garrett with really no results to show for it. Um, I, 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 unless something turns around for the Cowboys this year, I do think that this will be Jason Garrett's last year as the head coach. It finally seems like Jerry Jones is getting a little fed up with, with uh, Jason. He pointed out some coaching issues last night, or not last night, after the game, he pointed out some coaching issues. He said, he basically said, we got out coached. We have to be better on the coaching side. From what I heard, it basically sounded like he was pointing all fingers at Jason Garrett, and rightfully so. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Such a long tenure with, with Jason Garrett and the Dallas Cowboys. They're almost synonymous with each other. And it'll be interesting to see if they do get a new head coach after this year. <clears throat> but for right now, all they are are pretenders. You're not beating anyone in the playoffs, if you even make the playoffs. And back to the Patriots. Their, their offense just doesn't click right now. Wide receivers are hurt. Brady's too old. The O-line isn't clicking enough. I have more thoughts on that, but again, I'm going to say that for next video when I talk about the Texans versus Patriots. So we'll move on. The 49ers versus the Green Bay Packers. I thought this was going to be a really close game. I actually thought the Packers were going to win. Uh, I was dead wrong. The 49ers blew out the Green Bay Packers. The 49ers defense is legit. <clears throat> they have shut down. So The only people they haven't shut down is Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson, which two really good quarterbacks, kind of the same style of quarterback. Um... But I thought Rodgers would have more success against the defense because he's not a pure pocket passer. He can get out and run and extend plays out of the pocket. I thought he would do that more, but the the Niners just didn't give him any room to breathe. I don't know what 
I still don't think the 49ers... I don't know what to think of the 49ers. When they get to the playoffs, of course they're going to have a bye unless something really odd happens. Um, depending on who they face, I don't know if they will win a playoff game just because out of nowhere it's hard to immediately buy into teams like that. But they have improved me wrong. Their defense is legit. Their offense isn't the greatest, but it sure is good enough to win games. <clears throat> Especially when the defense sets them up that close. Uh, they'll be interesting to watch. I think, to go far, I think Jimmy G will have to step up a little bit. Not a whole lot, because he is doing fine. He's doing enough to win games. But when playoffs roll around and you have to face the Seahawks or maybe even the Vikings, if they can keep up, I think your offense has to have a little bit more to it. But who knows? If their defense keeps playing like this, they might not need an offense. <clears throat> and not the only blow of the weekend. Like I said, the Ravens blew out the Rams. Um, Lamar is, as of right now, Lamar is the undisputed MVP. As of two weeks ago or whatever, I would have said it was Russell Wilson. These last few weeks, Lamar Jackson has just been on a tear. Uh, he did it against my Texans, the Rams, uh, whatever team they played before the Texans. I can't remember that th at this moment, but they tore him up as well. They are peaking right now and hopefully it's not peaking too early to where they get to the playoffs and then they sizzle out because after this great season it would suck to see the Ravens go out in such a lame way in the first round maybe or their first playoff game um, <clears throat> but as of right now unless something tragic happens I do think Lamar is winning the MVP you can you can argue he's not the best pure quarterback but he is arguably the best playmaking quarterback right now and he's had the biggest impact of any quarterback on his team right now what he's doing is just insane teams can't game plan for him if bill belichick can't game plan for him you're not stopping him now if they see the patriots again in the playoffs belichick he usually doesn't lose twice to a team in the same year so who knows but as of right now it's a fun thing to watch so let's just enjoy and for the Rams, it's so hard to believe that how good they were last year that they've been this figured out by the league. They, their defense can't stop anybody. Their offense can't move anything. Jared Goff has gone from what he was last year to Mitchell Trubisky. Oops, sorry. He went from what he went to last year, he's gone to Mitch Trubisky, which not good at all. He's not winning games. He's... Doesn't look comfortable in the pocket. He's not making good throws. He's not making smart throws. And I think they're officially done this season. Um, I had high hopes for them. I thought they could maybe get back to the Super Bowl. I don't even think they'll make the playoffs now. Their offense is just so stagnant. It's slow. Gurley can't go anymore, especially because his arthritis in his knee and the line. And like I said, the defense can't hold nobody. It's... I do think they might be back in like a year or two after they tweak some things. But as this season goes, they have been figured out. I believe they're done for this season. Their hopes are over. It just goes to show that you can have all the stars in the world. It doesn't matter. They have Jared Goff, who coming into the season we thought, or at least I thought was going to be really good. Todd Gurley, a really good name. Cooper Cup, a good wide receiver. Brandon Cooks, a good wide receiver. Robert Woods, a wide, good wide receiver. And all those names on the defense, Eric Weddle, um, I was about to say Marcus Peters, but they just traded him. But th uh, they do have names on the defensive side, but nothing is clicking this year for them. And it's, it's odd to see how fast they fell off, but I do think they will be back eventually. And that's really it for week 12. I, there wasn't really anything too huge. I went over a few things, but I don't think anything that's like league changing just wanted to get a video out quick recap that's all i have if you like what you heard like comment subscribe share my video to help my channel grow and thank you all for watching